Hi there, Gemini, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of December the 12th through to the 18th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Gemini. First up, we have Major Account of the World in the upright, followed then by the uh, page of Cups upright. Next we have the Page of Swords upright. <laughs> Followed then by the Devil in Reverse. And lastly we have the Queen of Cups. Lots of people here in your week. Maybe some of you are dealing with uh, lots of people at work or in your family or a friend circle or just meeting some new people. <laughs> Your overall energy is the world in the upright position, Gemini. The world is representative of, um, of something changing in your world. Now, it's going to be different for all of you. Remember, these are just general reads. But something could be closing out this week. And it could be something quite noticeable for some of you. <clears throat> Perhaps it's something that a door that has been closing for quite some time and um, you see the finality of it this week for others of you this is something that you a, a door you are pushing closed and are hoping it stays closed <laughs> um, I call it the um, graduation card the world in the upright position this is where we're moving from one sector of our life into another now for some of you, this could be representative of a home you've lived in for many years and it's time to make a change up. It could be you raised your family there and now you're looking to downsize. For others of you, it could be representative of the final divorce papers coming in or it could be closing out a business. Perhaps you do not want to work in that field anymore or perhaps there is just something going on um, with your your company or your line of work that's closing out and when that door closes it's you know if you're still interested it's up to you to open up another avenue so this is um, interesting for some of you perhaps you are even retiring it could be that you're finally closing the chapter on that altogether others of you perhaps just completed some type of course that isn't like you're actually graduating from that and it's enabling you to start a new career start up something new or different so something in your world is changing here Gemini right at the beginning of the week we have the page of cups in the upright position it is a court card could be representing a person if it's representing a person this is water energy cancer scorpio pisces sun moon or rising page of cups is very sweet energy i really do like the page of cups um <clears throat> This can be representative of a person, uh, sometimes a younger person, even for some of you, or someone who's emotionally um, not as mature as others. It could be an actual younger person, but somebody who's just really young at heart. It could be somebody even a little shy, perhaps, is messaging you. Um, this could be somebody who has a crush on you. This could be representative of someone delivering a heartfelt apology towards you. Somebody you just can't resist. They're so sweet. It could be representative representative of a child maybe for some of you this is your own child or grandchild who's just kind of making your day or making your week at the beginning of the week next card up is the page of swords in the upright position another court card this time we're dealing with air energy gemini libra aquarius sun moon or rising now you are coming up in your own reading in the upright position indicating gemini that you're on the right path with the, the words that you want to speak or the communication that you want to send out there. This could very well be you uh, putting out some information. Sometimes this is known as a little bit of a stalker energy. So it could be somebody looking into your background and it would make sense if you've just recently applied for something. Say for example, you have left a long-standing job and now you're out there applying for different types of jobs. It would make sense they do look into your background and that kind of thing. For others of you, this could be, you know, you sort of checking up on someone in their social media and so forth. Or maybe somebody sending you messages and then you're going um, onto the social media and, and checking them out on social media. Whatever the situation is, remember these are just general reads. Just take what makes sense to you. Sometimes the Page of Swords can deliver some information, just little increments of information. It's not necessarily, you know, true facts. You have to really 
it could just be like bits and pieces of information that are being spread to you. So you always have to double check your facts and uh, do some fact checking when it comes to the Page of Swords. For others of you, and there's other people here, perhaps if you are a business owner, maybe these are people you're dealing with. Maybe you're closing out a company and these could be people who work for you. And perhaps you're having to deal with them in the beginning of the week. But it looks good. They're both in the upright position. So whatever negotiations you have to do with them or communication, it looks like it will go pretty well. Moving on towards the weekend, we do have Capricorn energy here, the devil in the reverse position, which points to um, having a strong willpower or pushing past fear. Sometimes we allow fear to, you know, stop us in our tracks. Say, for example, if you have closed out your business and you're wanting to open up a new one, uh, sometimes it's like, you know, that fear of failure can come up and stop us in our tracks. But if that's the case for you, Gemini, you'll be pushing through that energy with the uh, the devil in the reverse position. It also can point to uh, strong willpower. This is where we will not cave for anything. Um, good news for those of you who are trying to stick to your diet or trying to stick, stick to things that are no longer aiding you or helping you in any way. Sometimes because this can, in the upright position, can point to that... Um, you know, obsessions, addictions, those kinds of things, indulging in things that do not serve us or not good for us. But when the card is inverted, this is where we're sticking to our guns. We're saying, no, no, this is what I have to do. My willpower is there. It is strong. I'm overcoming. It, it can be overcoming obsessive thinking as well, too, which is always welcomed um, by most people. So the last card you have is another court card. This time we're dealing with the water energy again, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, King or the Queen of cups in the upright position and queen of cups is known for some wonderful qualities of, of uh, emotional maturity this energy has run the gauntlet on emotions it's sort of like the grown-up version of the page of cups here so it could be you're dealing with somebody who maybe almost seems to mature right before your very eyes whether it's your own uh, a child in your life or somebody you're dating maybe perhaps they show at the end of the week that they actually are pretty mature maybe they're just shy you know in the beginning but they actually do have a lot of compassion caring understanding which is what this energy is known for the the queen of cups can also be representative of say um a counselor or a doctor or somebody that you are speaking with about emotional matters now this person could be coming through perhaps helping you or aiding you in some way perhaps this person is even helping you in order to keep you on path with the um you know the temptations not allowing the temptations to get out of control for you so beautiful energy looks like a pretty good week for you and uh, gemini so that's what i have for you so don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below have a fantastic week thank you so much for joining me and i really hope the reading helped you if it did please feel free to like share and subscribe and i will see you again next week bye bye for now